In this video, we will learn how to use the ultrasonic sensor to measure distance with our robot. Note, the sensor is mounted on the front of our robot. We will use the sensor to allow our robot to stop a given distance from an object. First, we begin by dragging a state flow chart onto our Simulink diagram. Inside our state flow chart, we will need two states. Our default transition will be used to define the output variable speed, which will initially be zero. In our first state, the robot will be moving forward And in the second state, the robot will stop. The transition to the stop state will be triggered by the value of the input variable position being less than 30 centimeters or 0 0.3 meters. However, if the ultrasonic distance sensor has a reading greater than 2 meters, then it will return a value of 0. To make sure that it does not induce a false start, we add a second condition that the value of the position variable is greater than 0 0.02 meters or 2 centimeters, which is the smallest value that the sensor can measure. Using the Control D keystroke and opening the symbol wizard, we can see our two variables, the input variable position and the output variable speed. We will next connect signal lines from our state flow chart to our motor blocks. Next, we will drag the ultrasonic sensor block from the VEX library. And then we will choose the appropriate channels for the ports we have connected our wires to on our robot. As the robot moves towards the obstacle, the sensor is emitting ultrasonic waves. When the reflection of these waves says that the robot is about 30 centimeters from the obstacle, the robot will stop. 